The low tonight about 60 degrees. We're going to see some severe thunderstorms into tonight. Tomorrow we're still going to see some rain. I'll have those full weather updates for you later on in the 6 o'clock report. WVTT's World News Roundup. It's not every day we see video of a plane crash as it happens. But what makes this next story so incredible is that the video was shot by the people on board as it went down. Sandra Endo picks up the story from there. Out all smiles during takeoff. Four men on board a 1947 Stinson single engine plane, taking a short flight across the picturesque Idaho mountains and capturing nature's beauty with their video cameras. But just minutes after takeoff, things went terribly wrong. The plane is struggling to climb. Then it drops flying so low it started skimming treetops, yet no panic from those on board. Then, the footage goes black. The cameras keep rolling, capturing the aftermath of the crash. All four men survived. Tol Gropp was one of the passengers. His father, Leslie, was piloting. As they were getting into trouble, Toll had confidence in his father, who flew helicopters in Vietnam. I still felt, even as I saw us coming closer to the trees, that my dad would pull us out of it and uh, that we'd be okay. I remember hitting the trees and it sounded like rapid fire, um, gunfire it sounded like, um, but then we were all upside down, uh, seat belted in, and you can hear in the video my dad asking if everyone's all right. We show the remarkable video to some local Washington, D.C. pilots for their take on what went wrong. The field elevation was very high. The, uh, the temperature that day was very high. The air just wasn't dense enough for the engine to produce the power that it's rated to produce. Despite the mangled mess, the pilot was the only one seriously injured, his jaw broken in three places. But in the end, nobody's spirits were broken that day, all of them just thankful to be alive. I honestly believe my dad, you know, saved our lives by the way he continued to fly the plane through the trees and, and making sure that, you know, he didn't give up. Sandra Endo, CNN, Washington. Police allowed members of the Sikh temple that endured a mass shooting Sunday to return to their building in suburban Milwaukee on Thursday. CNN was allowed an exclusive look inside the temple. Ed Payne reports. With the help of donated supplies, temple members swept, scrubbed, and painted over damage from the shooting that killed six people and critically injured three others. They reopened the dining hall where they run an open kitchen for the community. Our congregation, they, they were going to do whatever it takes to get back here. And really, oh man, it's been amazing. How many people have come and, you know, just cleaning it. I took pictures just because it's such like a positive feeling to see everybody back together and so dedicated to this place. They're leaving a lone bullet hole in the metal frame to the door leading to the main prayer area as a reminder of the tragedy. Here's the pantry where more than 15 women and children hid for more than two hours. Some were injured. Police say gunman Wade Michael Page fatally shot himself in the head after an officer shot him in the stomach. The motive is still unknown. The son of the temple's president, who died in the shooting, has a word for the victims and another for the gunman. They are heroes. They are living the American dream. The other person was a coward. And at the end of the day, he should always be remembered as a coward. Another member reflected on the tragedy. Happened because of miseducation and people concentrating on differences rather than concentrating on similarities. Civil rights leader Jesse Jackson paid a visit to the temple and helped paint. He says more shootings are likely to follow unless the U.S. tightens its gun laws. Meanwhile, we've learned Attorney General Eric Holder will be among the speakers at today's memorial service. I'm Ed Payne reporting. Well, you may wonder how video game creators can make avatars that look so much like the real famous athlete. Lori Siegel has a look at the face scanning technology that EA Sports uses to bring your favorite athletes into the game. Smile, you're about to check out the technology behind one of the hottest games on the market. Three, two, one. You keep holding it. 
EA Sports FIFA 12. The game has sold more than 10 million copies since its debut last year. FIFA is popular because of the realism. They do countless hours of motion capture with real football stars tracking their real motion, and this is even just adding to it their, their real faces. We're getting a lot closer to being able to create digital doubles. What's the most difficult thing to do? Is it, is it face or is it motion? Uh, I think face. I think we've got a longer road ahead of us for face. To get the players as realistic as possible, they set up equipment like this wherever they possibly can. Players will come in, they'll sit down, they're surrounded by 18 cameras, and that's how their digital avatars are created. Really, um, we just take pictures. They all fire at the exact same time and grab a picture of their face, and then we merge all the images together to create a 3D model pretty much exactly as they looked at that moment. Here, the English Premier League's Tottenham Hotspurs are getting their pictures taken. That's footballer Kyle Walker. He's a right back for the team. Yes! And so, do you like your avatar? Does it, is it a good representation of you? Uh, it's, it's okay. It hasn't got my personality, has it? My personality doesn't no. really shine through. <laughs> We're still not quite there. There's something called the uncanny valley where it, something looks real, but they're just, you're, you can tell there's something off about it. What we're working on actually right now is this similar technology, but miniature that can record someone's face as they're acting and record all that detail. As these facial expressions get more realistic and they become, you know, they, they begin really to look like these players or these people, do you ever worry that there's like a, a line that we, we could cross? Yeah, I think, I, I have no idea, but I think at some point there's going to have to be some new laws made <laughs> because, you know, who owns the rights to, to someone's image? Nigel says you might see this tech in your home in the next couple years to make your own avatar. But as of now, it's for the professionals. EA Sports spends well, serious resources bringing players from the field to your TV screen. They say it can take an artist days to perfect those digital doubles. For CNN Money, I'm Lori Siegel. One. Sports is next with Derek Smith. Keep it here on News Channel 25 WVTT.